Back with another video for you today. This is my top 20 niche fragrances for winter. Most of these are luxury niche brands. So we're gonna focus on niche pricey fragrances for this video, anything over $100. We're gonna do this all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. It's winter finally, and I've got a list of great winter fragrances here, but if this is your first time on this channel and you've been watching videos here but still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So let's get started right away. Um, but before we do, I just wanted to also mention that we've done two videos for winter so far. We, uh, we did a list with uh, specifically designers, more exclusive and private uh, niche style fragrances video that are perfect for winter. And then I also did a top 25 uh, fragrances under $100 for winter, but these are all over $100 and they are all niche brands. No designers here whatsoever. A lot of them are also luxury, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. At number 20, we're going with a fragrance that I really, really love. It's an oud, but a strange combo, but really, really works great. And that is Oud for Love from The Different Company. So I bought this on a trip last year uh, in the wintertime in um, Luxembourg of all places. There was a, a perfume shop there, and they had a lot of Different Company and various other brands discounted 40% off. So I got this at 40% off and I had uh, not really experienced this particular fragrance much, but boy, am I in love with it. As you can see, I've been using up quite a bit. It's oud with uh, beautiful gourmand uh, touches. It's just really, really delicious, but there's that oud in there that kind of works strangely but works perfectly, if that makes sense. So perfect for winter, I think, and there's deals for this brand out there, the different company, so you might wanna check. And if you like Oud and you like gourmand fragrances, this is the one. This is also created by Bertrand Duchaful, one of my favorite perfumers. It's awesome, do check it out, it's at number 20, the different company, Oud for Love. At number 19, we're going to the house of The Gate, and this is Precious Moment, a tobacco fragrance, this right here. I did a review for this earlier this year, we did a some bottles giveaway, but I really do love this one. I love the tobacco in here, and I love that fruitiness in there. So it's a cool, really awesome uh, take on uh, of tobacco fragrance, unlike any others that I have, and I really, really love tobacco fragrances, if you don't know that already about me. So if you like tobacco fragrances with a slight bit of fruity twist, one to check out is The Precious Moment. And they're not really distributed here in the States much, I think. I'm not really familiar with um, their distribution, but they have, um, uh, you can buy fragrances on their website. The Gate, Precious Moment at number 19. Number 18, we're going to the house of Nasamato, and this is their probably most popular fragrance. This is Black Afghano, this one right here. Why is this way in the bottom of the list? Because this has been a fragrance I've owned for a long time. It's been a since 2013 is when I bought it, very early on, one of my very first niche fragrances, and it was Love at First Sniff. I'm not sure if the concentration or the uh, intensity is still remaining, but the smell is just gorgeous, really love it. And we recently featured it in uh, the incense video, if you haven't seen that yet, do check it out. But it's lots of incense with uh, coffee and cannabis and just oud and all of really good stuff. So. A great fragrance, but still, I've got a lot of other fragrances that I've added to the collection. That's why it slips down, because I don't wear it as much, but still, it's a great scent. Black Afghano, number 18. At number 17, we're going to a fragrance that I don't speak much about that I really love. I had a review of this on the previous channel, but unfortunately, that's no longer. This is Amouage Journeyman, and I'm still really falling, re-falling in love with it. It's a really, very interesting uh, tobacco and leather fragrance smooth and creamy at the same time. Uh, more leather than tobacco perhaps, but just awesome. This, nobody really talks about this one, at least I don't hear. But I think this is a very underrated scent for them. Journeyman is really great and perfect for winter. Do check it out if you don't know it. I think there's deals for this one out there. When I first bought it, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing buying something really expensive like early into 2014 was when I bought this. I think this is when it came out and I paid like $300, it's like, oh my God, I'm buying really expensive fragrances back then. But it's, it's such a great scent. You do check it out, Journeyman is at number 17. Next up, we're going to Maitre Parfumé et Gantier for number 16, and this is Ambre Prisseau, 
Ultime, this one right here. If you can't get the Ultime edition, the original edition is available. And this is one of the best ambers out there. Top-notch amber, classy, masculine, really, really intense, potent stuff. Um, just beautiful. They have a really, really cool shop in Paris near the Place Vendôme. I've gone several times. And back in March, I met the owner of the brand uh, and um, really, really nice bunch of a uh, couple of uh, people there running this house. It's very underrated. They sell these at Lucky Scent. I think it's the only retailer that sells them. And they've gone through a facelift with the bottles and things and they have awesome, uh, just an awesome collection. They focus a lot on ambers and intense fragrances. So if you don't know this brand, do check it out. It's Maitre Parfumé et Gantier. And it's a Umbre Perso Altine at number 16. At number 15, it's a new one in the collection. And as you can see, I do like to feature new fragrances. This is Cardamom Coffee from Lush's Gorilla brand, or Gorilla Perfume brand. It's actually not perfumes, it's Gorilla Perfume. So I always forget, am I gonna put perfumes? Because Gorilla Perfume perfumes doesn't make sense. So anyway, this is Cardamom Coffee and a delicious concoction of Cardamom with coffee. Uh, beautiful scent, cozy, gourmand, but a little kind of like a hippie-like patchouli touch too. I don't know where that's coming from, but it kind of totally makes sense with the whole, um, the whole um, branding of the brand because, you know, the, the owners uh, used to be hippies and they started this lush brand and now they have perfumes. And Anyway, gorgeous scent. If you like cardamom coffee, this one's great, perfect for winter, just a cozy, cozy kind of scent. Cardamom Coffee by Gorilla Perfume at number 16. This next one is quite pricey. It's part of uh, Le Labo's um, city exclusives from Moscow. This is Benjoin 19. And Benjoin or Benzoin is one of my favorite resins and fragrances. Uh, it's a resin, you can kind of totally tell it's a resin, but there's this a vanillic aspect to it that really is to die for, and I absolutely love it. Because um, I love vanilla and fragrances. One that I didn't really like a lot before, but I'm, I'm head over heels for vanilla. And when you have something that's vanillic, but not quite vanilla, but you know, it's a resin and all that good stuff. Uh, awesome, awesome. And this is one of their better uh, city exclusives. And uh, I decided to get this one because I wanted, I've wanted it for years and finally do. And because I'm not pro planning on going to Moscow anytime soon. So this is had to be done this time. So Benjoin 19 at, at number um, 14. Next up at number 13, we're going to the house of Montal, and this is Intense Cafe. Still my favorite Montal fragrance. Absolutely love this one. Compliment getter for me. Ladies always ask me what I'm wearing when I wear this one. I love the whole fusion of milk and coffee and rose. Just amazing. Uh, just a gorgeous scent. I love it. Longevity is great too and um, this is one of the only uh, rose fragrances that, that I wear a lot of in the winter time I just uh, smells great and I love the fact that it's also cozy comfy a comfy a comforting fragrance because of the milky gourmand touches anyway rose is in here and it's rosy with milk and coffee it's intense cafe at number 13 at number 12 another one that has rose in it but it's not about the rose again this is ecstasy by tiziana terenzi so this is all about pine and uh, woody notes and incense lots of incense in here and roses in here as well so um it took a, a little while for me to pick up a more intense rose in here finally I'm, I'm i'm doing it and we featured this in the incense video as well and uh but a, a truly unique and underrated scent, I think. I think most people focus on Laudano Nero, but I don't have that on this list now. But I'm really head over heels for Ecstasy. And if you don't know it, do check it out. I think it's one of the better ones that uh, Tiziana Terenzi has released. I love the, the way the rose is in here. But if you don't like rose, it's not about the rose. It's, it's more of a masculine rose, if that makes sense. So Ecstasy at number 12. At number 11, we're going to the house of uh, Nishane, and this is Spice Bazaar. Sorry my label's a bit uh, ruined there, uh, the spillage. But, oh boy, oh man. This is class all the way, but lots of spices, if that makes sense. There's something very classy behind the spices once you get through it. You gotta love a lot of spices, and there's cumin in here as well. But when you smell that, oh man, just, just an awesome scent. Just one of the best offerings from this house. Absolutely love it. Um, 
I can't get enough of that smell. It's just gorgeous. Um, so anyway, if you don't know this brand, I have done multiple videos for them. It's Nishane from Turkey, Istanbul. I've also interviewed them and I actually have a review for Spice Bazaar. Do check it out. So that is at number 11. Going to the top 10, we're going to the House of Tower Perfumes and this is Accur de Desert. Uh, and this is Tower Perfumes X-Ray edition of Laird Desert Marocain. It's an amber, but it's just probably, uh, let me just say, I love Laird Desert Marocain. It's one of my favorite ambers, but when this came out, I'm, I'm Oh, even more interested in this one, liking this one more. It just lasts long, longer on me. It doesn't project as much and it's not as dry, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of just really into this fragrance, but uh, it's a little more expensive than Laird Desert Marocaine. So, plus this is X-ray concentration and Laird Desert Marocaine is EDT. So that's why the pricing is different. But again, then again, you might have your own preference. It's the same fragrance pretty much to me, but just this one works a little better. So do check it out. It is Akuda Desert from Tower Perfumes, and that's at number 10. Next up, we're going to one of the beastliest fragrances in uh, my collection, and one that was recently featured in the incense video again. This is Rien Intense Incense. Um, so if you like leather and a malic with aldehydes and lots of incense, this is your, uh, your fragrance for you. Uh, in the video, I was also mentioning, we did the video with Dahlia, and I was mentioning how soapy it comes off it comes off very clean almost like laundry but there's all those like animalic and smoky leathery incensey touches to it uh, i didn't mention the laundry part but yeah there's something like laundry like in here which is really unique for a fragrance and i think that's from the aldehydes but beast mode if you like beast mode fragrances this is it for you rien intense incense um, there is the original Rien, which is similar, but a lot easier to wear, less incense, I think. So check it out. It's from Etat Libre de Orange. That's at number nine. At number eight, we're going to the house of Parfum de Marly. This is Leighton Exclusive. Oh, you, you guys already know this fragrance. It's really, really popular, but it's Leighton, more amplified, intensified, and made a little more Middle Eastern kind of smelling, if that makes sense, with oud in it. Absolutely love for this one and I love the fact that it's a smaller bottle although it's not it's more expensive too so um, is it more expensive I think it's around the same price just less juice uh, so it doesn't make it more expensive but absolutely love it I mean I love the original but this one is even more special to me so Leighton exclusive perfect winter scent more of a mass appealing kind of a winter scent but beast mode is still uh, appropriate to say for this one so this is Leighton exclusive Number eight from Parfum de Marly. So at next one, we're going to the house of Orloff Paris. This is Star of the Season Elixir. So Star of the Season is one of my favorite sandalwood fragrances. And Star of the Season's all about um, sandalwood. Creamy, really beautiful, gorgeous. Um, just almost edible kind of smelling. But this is the Elixir edition, the more stronger, more potent, more luxury, more expensive version. Absolutely love it. On me, there's that little bit of cumin touch that pops through when you wear it on your skin, at least on me. It doesn't come off in the bottle when you smell it, but that's what makes it unique. So if you like creamy sandalwood, I think this is one of the better sandalwood fragrances. So this is Star of the Season Elixir from Orlov Paris. That's at number seven. At number six, we're going to the house of Nishane again, and this is Munegu. We recently featured this in the patchouli video, and just gorgeous. Clean, patchouli, slightly chocolatey, slightly spicy, absolute love. Perfect winter scent, I think, also. If you don't like patchouli, then this might not be it for you. But if you like patchouli, chocolatey, yummy, this is it. Munegu from Nishane, Istanbul is at number six. Five more left, guys. At number five, recently reviewed this one. This is Red Tobacco from Mancera. So this is a great, great fragrance. Um, one of my favorite fragrances of 2017, it's tobacco, it's um, ambery, spicy, patchouli, oud, delicious. I absolutely love this one. Major uh, heavy hitter for winter, long lasting, oh man, and I wore this uh, just the other day and really, really love it and um, really enjoying it. I mean, I've been wearing a lot of it. I did a first impressions vi review video. Then I did a SafflerBond.com contributor review and we did a giveaway for a full bottle. Hopefully you participated, but I'm head over heels for this one and I love the bottle. So this is Mancera Red Tobacco at number five. Number four is Roja Parfums Creation E or otherwise known as Enigma. 
man, class in a bottle, boozy, delicious class in a bottle, pricey, but you don't need a lot of sprays. Just do check this one out. If you like classy, sophisticated, uh, you know, luxury fragrances, Roja Parfums Creation E is it for you. So this is Creation E by Roja Parfums. Absolutely head over heels for this one, and you will be too if you smell it. I mean, it's really, really great. So this is Creation E or Enigma at number four from Roja Parfums. Next up is Maison Francis Kirkjian's Oud Silk Mood Extrait. This right here. Did a mini review of this one recently. Uh, this one um, is Oud Silk Mood. Just Man, I love the way this smells. Um, the papyrus is really, really unique. It's got an interesting, unique vibe. And it just makes it, gives it like this oriental kind of a fragrance. I mean, it does come off very, very oriental, Middle Eastern kind of a fragrance. But man, this lasts so long, so, so long. And if you like heavy, heavy fragrances, I love it. I really, really love it. So Oud Silk Mood X-Ray by Maison Francis Kirkjian is at number three. All right, next up is one from the house of Frederick Maul that just came out this, this year um, in um, 2017, if this doesn't make it uh, online in 2017. And this is Superstitious, this one right here. So this is another one here that we have with aldehydes. And this one is created by Dominic Ropion. It's rose aldehydes, but beast mode is appropriate to say for this one. Heavy, really heavy, intense. I just love the way it smells. It's a unique smell though. It's different. It doesn't smell like your typical rose fragrance because the aldehydes are pretty big. But what a gorgeous scent it is. It's pricey, but a unique bottle. As you can see, Superstitious. Absolute love. Check it out. It's Superstitious from Frederick Mall. And my number one favorite fragrance of 2017 also, and my number one fragrance for winter this year is Incident Diplomatique by Jovoy. Red River, check. Patchouli, check. Intensity, check. Beast mode, check. Long-lasting, check. This is all of those things, and this is just class all the way. Smells so good. Compliment getter as well. Man, people, people stop me on the street and say, what are you wearing? And I go, it's incident diplomatique. They don't even know French or anything. I'm like, uh, they, so they try and be curious and find out what I'm talking about because it, it, they, they, they probably assume I'm going to say something that's very familiar to them, but it's not. So anyway, I love this one. It's one of my favorite releases of 2017. It is magical. It's just amazing. And if you don't know this brand, please do check them out because it's an awesome, awesome brand. Jovoy Incident Diplomatique. I praise this one a lot. It's just awesome. So anyway, get your noses on it. That's it. That's the list. 20 top-notch winter fragrances. Oh man, these last a long time and I love these and I'm going to be wearing a lot of them. What are you going to be wearing this winter? What fragrances will you wear? Do you like beast mode fragrances? Do you like heavy fragrances for winter or do you keep it mellow with the freshies and go with those kind of fragrances. Let me know. Also, uh, let me know uh, what you're looking forward to once winter is over, but winter is just getting started and these are going to be perfect for winter. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.